Attention bubbleheads, sailors, and all military personnel. Enjoy truish, lighthearted, and funny adventures from life at sea, told by Mr. Do-Right himself. So pack your sea bags and rig the ship or dive. It's time for another sea story with Mr. Do-Right. I think they're ready for you. Welcome back to Sea Stories with Mr. Do-Right. I am your host, Mr. Do-Right, and today's show, a gangster at the gun shoot. That's right. This is on the lines of me at the swimming pool in the swimming pool situation. It was funny how things were in the Navy for certain people. I don't know how else to say it, but that's just how it was. And this was no exception. So to start off this story, to be in the military, you need to know how to shoot a gun. If you don't know how to shoot a gun, that's no problem. They will teach you how to do it. And the place to learn is at the gun shoot. Now that we all caught up, Let's begin the story. It all started back in boot camp, but this is not a boot camp story, so don't worry about it. I will fast forward soon. But it all started in boot camp, and we went to the gun simulator. Now, I didn't get to shoot real guns in boot camp because of 9-11. So thanks a lot, Al-Qaeda, for messing up my gun shoot. We were at the simulator, and just like it sounds, we had guns that were simulated. You would pull the trigger, the slide would go back, it wasn't a real gun, real bullets were not shot, all you would hear is sound effects over some speakers. Kind of cheesy, but it helps you get the gist of how to shoot a gun and getting the techniques, right? Cool. Now that I said that, because it seems like I'm doing a lot of building up here, anytime an instructor is involved with this gun shoot, they make it their business to come over and ask me, you know we don't shoot guns sideways around here, right? Okay, I didn't know we was shooting guns sideways was a technique. <laughs> okay, aye aye, Petty Officer, no problem. I won't shoot it sideways, even if it's a simulator. I finally get to the boat, and I'm on my first gun shoot, so I can get qualified to stand and watch. And you have to be able to fire a gun to stand and watch, right? So... Hence, going to the gun shoot. Go to the gun shoot. I don't remember where it was. It was tucked away back in the hills, you know, up from um, lower base. Got to the gun shoot. All it was is this big metal building. It's got a roof. No sides. You know, it's pretty much open. It almost looks like a patio. And we got to shoot guns. Had a fence around it. Bye. It, wasn't no, it was no big deal. This place was no big deal. <laughs> I get there, you know, you have to load your own magazine. So you get your four mags, you load them up, uh, you put them in your pockets, and you're all ready to go to shoot. We're waiting around for them to call our name so we can go up there and shoot. Finally call my name, which is towards the end, because God dog it, my last name would have to start with an S. I wish it started with a D. Unfortunately, um, Do-Right is not my last name. They finally call me up there so now I can shoot. Yes, let's get this going. I, you know, I, we went through all the training. Of course, they sat down and spoke to us before we even got there. This is how you use a gun. This is what you're supposed to do. This is how you treat it. You don't put your finger in the trigger well until you're ready to shoot. You use the pad of your finger. You always keep your shooting finger straight. Gotcha. You had all those lessons. Know what we're doing. Pretty confident. Scared nonetheless, I ain't never shot a gun before, believe it or not. I mean, I shot a 22 with my dad hunting when I was a little kid. But I shot that thing once and never shot a gun again. Never had a reason to shoot a gun. I'm not a hunter. I don't go out there. What the hell I need a gun for? First time I ever shot a handgun and definitely first time I shot a real shotgun, right? So I'm all ready to go. A little apprehensive, but I'm ready to do this. You know, I've watched everybody else go up there and mess up. Because that's why I don't ever go first. Never go first. Badly go in the middle. Go last. Go best. Remember that. That's my new saying. Go last. Go best. Oh, you can be first if you want to. But I guarantee you, I'm going to look better doing it. What? Remember this. If you don't remember shit I say, remember this. Navy, never again volunteer yourself. That is words to live by. We need a volunteer. This better not be you. This is not you. No. We need a volunteer. Yep. Let that fool go first. 
he'll look like a dumbass to the next person to go after him and look like slightly less of a dumbass. But if you hold back, boom, you watch everybody make their mistakes, you figure out what's going on, man, then you come up there, man, that was an outstanding job. Man. You, ooh, you look like you've been doing this for years. Now this is my first time. This is your first time. Oh my God, we got a natural on us. No, I'm not a natural. I just sat back and watched all the idiots go first. <laughs> Outstanding, outstanding. We got us a leader here. <laughs> Lead from the back, baby. <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Man, I sound like a damn shit bag. No, no, I ain't no shit bag. I'm just. I, I was strategic. I was strategic. Get to the line. Load your weapon. Load my weapon and everything. I got it pointed down range. You know, somebody say something. I mean, I just turned my head. I didn't move my body at all. I mean, I ain't trying to play around. Look, look. Let's just keep this, let's just keep this real. You know, I keep it real with you, you keep it real with me. I'm not about to be that black man with a gun doing stupid shit. I'm just not going to be the one. So, you tell me to jump on one leg, I'm jumping on one leg. Hey, I'll be looking stupid, but I'll be a, a looking stupid, still alive mofo. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes sense to me. So I'm sitting there at the line, got my weapon loaded, got his pointing down range and everything, and one of the line coaches walks by, behind me, not by me, because that would be stupid. He walked behind me, and he says, uh, you know we don't shoot guns sideways here. And I'm like, why, do I have a sign on my back that says I shoot guns sideways? Because I don't, I don't get that. Why do you keep telling me that? <laughs> I'm not even holding it sideways now, but anyway, anyway, whatever. Come in, fire. You know, shooting like I'm supposed to shoot. Cut, cut, cut. I grab with my left, reload, the slide goes forward, and I continue shooting. Cut, 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 cut. You know, no problems. No problems. Just like they showed me. Just like they trained me. Just like I've always seen people shoot guns, right? Not a gun shoot. Same play, different instructors, yet I hear the same statement again. You know, we don't shoot guns sideways here. Are you telling anybody else this? Are you just telling me this? Do I look like I'm a person that shoots guns sideways? I mean, I don't even get the point of it. I mean, you, you're shooting this thing sideways, and this is what I've seen in movies. Uh, apparently, that's where they're getting this from. Yeah, and really, truthfully, I ain't never seen no hardcore dudes that used to have guns shoot sideways either. So, I don't even know where Hollywood got this bull from. And, uh, anyway, you know, they hold the gun sideways. I guess it makes the bullet go faster because I see them sitting up there shooting, you know, trying to push the bullet out the gun. And then you got cases coming all up at you and all kind of stuff. And you, you can't look down your line of sight. Yeah, you know, I, I know what that is, you know. So, how you aiming, you just basically shooting wildly and you got bullets going all over the place. So, to me, that's not even logical. I'm like, shit, if I'm going to shoot at somebody, I want to hit them because I don't want to make them mad. And then they decide to shoot back at me. I'm not trying to hear that shit, period. If I have to shoot at you, you are not going to shoot back at me. That's all it is to it. I ain't saying I'm no killer. You know, I don't even own a gun now. I, you know, I never, well, damn it, the 22. Yes, it was my gun, but, you know, my dad bought that. I didn't. That was his gun thing. I'm not even into guns. But if we got a shootout, trust me, I ain't going to be shooting sideways because that's stupid. Anyway, I'm supposed to be telling you my story. So my story is later on down the line, because both of those was in Groton. I finally make it to Virginia. Whole nother state, whole nother base. I was shooting for force protection because I was I was part of the force protection team. And um, yeah, pretty interesting because we get up there, do our same little routine, they give us training, blah, 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 get up there and shoot. Somebody walk behind me. Hey, you know we don't shoot guns sideways here. It's like holy shit, no stuff. I ain't shot a gun sideways yet. I don't see no sense in it. Do I need to rewind this video so you can hear what the hell I'm trying to say? We get out there and shoot, 
pa pa pa. Of course, I'm always last because last is best. And so by going last, most of the people already shot and they was able to leave. So it was only a few of us left there finishing up shooting. Well, they had a lot of rounds left over and apparently there's a rule. You can take rounds out, but you can't bring them back, which I don't know how that works, but we had a whole bunch of rounds left over. And so the line judges said, okay, everybody loaded their magazines. We can't take these rounds back. So we got to go ahead and take care of them ourselves. And I'm like, oh, this is different. Get to shoot some more. This is pretty cool, right? So we loading up magazines, loading up magazines. You know, we got like 10 magazines a piece. And it was like, I don't know, about 10 of us. And I, I was like, damn, this is some cool shit. I hope we ain't going to be shooting at each other. You give me a choice between shootout and get the hell up out of there. Let's see what they call it, fight or flight? I'm flighting, baby. I'm flighting. I feel flighty. <laughs> like Mike Tyson says, flight or fight? Flight or fight? I, I feel flighty. <laughs> yeah, I'm the funk that. We all line up. We're getting ready to shoot at the targets and everything. And they say, okay, now we're going to do some speed shooting. Who can get through all of them magazines the quickest? Okay, so I'm like, Damn, then we're going to make it a game? All right, then. Let's, let's rock this. Yeah. We getting ready. They say, all right, everybody load their gun. All right, slides forward. Bop. Yep, ready to go. And the same people who sat there and told me we don't shoot guns sideways were all sitting up there like this. Go. So I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait a minute, how does that work? So you jump my shit for not doing it, but you assume that's, you know, how I shot for some strange reason that is unknown to anybody. I could not understand for the life of me why they would think I would shoot guns sideways, but the same people who sit here and tell me we don't shoot guns sideways in the military are freaking popping caps sideways. At this, it's not even gun shoot. At this point, it's okay corral. <laughs> like, what's going on? I don't get this. God damn it. I don't shoot sideways and I know how to fucking swim. Fuck. Fuck. But I do like some watermelon, though. I do. <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> I do like watermelon. Hey, I just wanted to... <laughs> I just wanted to tell you this. Story. I thought it was it was kind of cool. I thought it was different. Well, it's not different. It's kind of cool. It's not different. Same old, same old. I, just, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. It, it happened to me and I wanted to share it with you. How about that? You live with that. Shut the hell up and live with that. Stop trying to make this all complicated stuff. Man. Ah. Do I need? Ah. Anyway. Fuck y'all. Fuck. Fuck. So anyway. If y'all gonna do something, won't you like and subscribe to my channel? Tell your partners about this. Y'all gonna be having a Sea Stories with Mr. Do Right party or something. Get y'all some beer, some nachos, some dip. I like guacamole. I can't eat none, but I'll look at y'all eat it. You know, y'all can sit there, get drunk, tell y'all own stories and stuff. Got me on the TV, ignoring me as usual. Man, that'll be a great time. You know, we don't really need a reason to get together, but if we got a reason, holy snap, that'll work. Or you could tell the bartender, put me on while y'all sit there and drink like crazy. Because, you know, that's what sailors do. Not pretty. That's what sailors do. They drink. Hell, I try not to drink, but I drank my ass off when I was... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why, but I did. Every time we were pulling the port, like, I'm not going to drink. Then I think back of the, that underwear, and I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Bunch of drunks with a sailing problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming back to my show, Sea Stories with Mr. Duray, with your host, Mr. Duray. Until next time, peace. Keep your hands behind the shit. What's that little the butt part that, little, that sticks out? Keep your hand underneath that so you don't get cobra bite. No, no, not cobra bite. It's Beretta bite. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> not on me. I ain't never got bit by that brother. Mm-mm, them brothers are get you. Anyway. <laughs> this is the first time I shot a gun. Well, I guess technically it ain't the first time I shot a gun if I just told you that. But it is the first time I ever shot a hand, um, a handheld gun. <laughs>
little apprehen apprehensive. You know, clip, drop, reload, pick up. No, that was the wrong hand. What? Well, let's see. I'm right-handed. Yeah, 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 yeah.